what is up guys welcome back to the channel and as always keeping you updated on all the latest pro wrestling news today we're also reviewing and rounding down everything that went down on this week's monday night raw so you guys know what to do i'll boy drop it and let's get right into it starting off with some of the latest news and update as we know drew mcintyre was part of some breaking news this afternoon as wwe announced that he tested positive and because of it there were a couple of changes to monday night raw Drew McIntyre did still appeared on Raw, providing an update on the whole situation. He recorded a very short video admitting the news and indicating that he is a, one of the lucky ones, as although he has tested positive, he hasn't had any symptoms. He did went on to indicate that it is something that should not be taken lightly, so the WWE Champion urged everyone to take it serious. He said if it can happen to him, it can happen to anyone, and encouraged everyone to wear their mask and maintain a social distancing as well as continue to follow all of the rules and regulation but that wasn't the end of drew mcintyre on monday night raw because later on in the show wwe did something a bit unthinkable as we didn't think they were gonna confirm this match already but they did drew mcintyre appear again in a video message indicating that goldberg was a liar and whatever he ended up saying last week was not true he said to never meet your heroes because they will let him down so Drew McIntyre said that Goldberg let his legacy down and he put words in his mouth. This was followed by Drew McIntyre accepting Goldberg's challenge at the Royal Rumble. So now it is official Goldberg vs. Drew McIntyre set up for the Royal Rumble on January 31st. And chances are that until then, of course, Drew McIntyre is going to remain in quarantine. Maybe we get to see him return a week early on Monday Night Raw so they can have some interaction and build up more towards that match and going back to drew mcintyre testing positive seems like wwe might be facing a bit more trouble this week because it turns out that drew mcintyre is not the only person in wwe that recently tested positive and as first reported by ringside news that uh, there was a positive result among people on the smackdown roster and this person is involved in a current smackdown storyline so all of this could lead to a couple of other cancellations uh, at least temporary stop of feud heading into the royal rumble we of course don't know who exactly this superstar is and we won't know about it unless a wwe makes a public announcement like they did today with drew mcintyre maybe on the day of smackdown this friday that is something that they announce i will keep you guys updated on it but again this is said to be a superstar that is currently in a storyline so it is going to affect a television and it's gonna affect some type of royal rumble build off if they were planned to be in that match card moving into some other news xavier woods are face at t-bar this week on raw and a lot of fans were wondering where kofi kingston was at tom phillips actually revealed on commentary that kofi kingston is out of action with a fractured jaw and it was said that kofi suffered that injury against the hurt business over the last couple of weeks xavier woods wrestled t-bar with retribution surrounding the ring he was all alone without any want to have his bag t-bar won the match in definite fashion hopefully kofi kingston will return to action soon so xavier woods can have some backup but that is the reason why kofi kingston was out of action and the injury is legit he actually confirmed it over on instagram in one of his recent interviews as for what went down on this week's monday night roll the show started off with the game triple h coming out and addressing the fans and he is said to be making a huge announcement the problem is that he gets interrupted by randy orton before he makes any type of announcement randy orton got a couple of requests for triple h to put him in the royal rumble at number 30 or to just give him the wwe championship triple h of course doesn't like that in the end randy orton just continued to taunt triple h to have a match with him like the good old days and even ask triple h if he lets his balls in stephanie mcmahon's purse so all of 
that ultimately leads into the match the main event of the night after that we get a drew mcintyre making his comments about the announcement from early on today he then came back later on in the night accepting goldberg's challenge at the royal rumble one-on-one -on -one match for the wwe championship we got lacey evans versus charlotte flair and a bit of a surprise halfway through we get rick flair coming down and it looks like at that nature boy is going full heel once again he was in the corner of charlotte flair for a bit or at least i'm making it look like that was the case then as charlotte goes off for a suplex to get lacey evans back inside of the ring rick flair this time actually tripped charlotte flair on purpose so lacey evans picks up the victory with rick flair helping her cheat holding down charlotte flair so that she doesn't even kick out we then get a segment backstage of lacey evans indicating that she's gonna go change her gear at the hotel and rick flair is of course right next to her so they are both leaving together and charlotte flair cannot believe it we get a backstage segment with keith lee and sheamus going at it at the miss and john morrison so that's a tag team match that is set up later on but before that we do get jackson Riker with elias defeating jeff hardy with a roll up in under 20 seconds of course with the help of elias so jeff hardy is pissed off caught elias a coward and challenge him to a match which then he does win and now let me get this straight i thought that all oh, this thing of jackson Riker teaming up with elias was to help out elias and elevate him to that next level but instead they just making it looks like jackson Riker is the one that's getting a push and elias is just the lackey in this whole situation it hardly makes any sense i'm also pissed off at the fact that jackson Riker actually defeated jeff hardy that quick or just defeated him in jeff general i don't know what the hell wwe is doing right now with jeff hardy we get keith lee and sheamus at defeating john morrison and the miss but it wasn't done there just yet because sheamus and keith lee after the victory continue to shove each other so they get into a one-on-one -on -one match which keith lee goes on and win after the match sheamus slowly gets to his feet and keith lee holds out a fist but sheamus shoves it away and hugs him instead so are we seeing the birth of a friendship here and maybe a tag team too we get t-bar of retribution defeating xavier woods and up next is a united states championship match match of bobby lashley with mvp taking on matt riddle good back and forth between these two superstars in the end bobby lashley picked up the victory with the hurt lock making matt riddle top out but it wasn't done just yet because wwe needed to fill up a lot of time tonight obviously matt riddle says that he couldn't beat bobby lashley tonight but he's betting that he could beat mvp so matt riddle gets another match tonight as soon as matt riddle is about to win he gets disqualified as bobby lashley rushed in so in all technicality he still picked up the victory but it was by disqualification in the end though the her business end up getting the last laugh we get aj styles telling adam pierce that if some way somehow he managed to beat roman reigns at the royal rumble then at wrestlemania it could end up being aj styles versus adam pierce all of these leads to aj styles defeating drew gulak in one-on-one -on -one competition in a match which i guess because drew gulag lost he won't be in the royal rumble match we get keith lee offering the help to triple h letting him know that he doesn't have to do this they of course go way back from a couple of months ago in nxt so i do like the little touch of them referencing nxt and of course acknowledging the fact that keith lee has an appreciation for triple h triple h says though that he has to do this because he brought it upon himself and he has to deal with it we get Shayna baser and nia jack defeating dana brooke and mandy rose some tension between all of them as we head into the royal rumble and then for the main event now we get triple h versus randy Orton in a match that ended in a no contest the action started kicking off right away with them going at it with the heavy strikes Triple H lifts Randy Orton and tosses him into the barricade by the announce desk. Then tosses Randy Orton into the steps. Triple H puts Randy Orton in the ring and goes underneath to get his faithful sledgehammer. And then this is when everything really goes down. So first off, uh, the match itself between Triple H and Randy Orton wasn't really too crazy. There wasn't a lot of bumps. It was only two to three minutes of a bit of a street fight between both of them. But I do gotta say that I absolutely love seeing a Triple 
Triple H compete. And tonight showed me just how much I miss him as an active competitor because he is so vicious. And when he is in there competing, he is ready to just fight. Nonetheless, Triple H goes for the sledgehammer. He slowly gets back in the ring as Randy Orton cross and climbs to his feet. But just before Triple H can hit him with that sledgehammer, the lights start going out. Randy Orton gets to his feet and Triple H lift at the sledgehammer while it's a bit dark and suddenly the sledgehammer is on fire. The lights fully go out and all we see is the burning hammer then Triple H disappears. Randy Orton is alone looking all around and confused. A twisted version of the Firefly Funhouse music plays. Randy Orton turns around and Alexa Bliss is standing on the opposite corner. She puts a hand under her chin and shoots a fireball into Randy Orton's face. Yes, a fireball into Randy Orton's face. And the show ends with Randy Orton covering his face as he looks like he is uh, blinded from that fireball. And he is just uh, screaming in pain. Certainly an interesting way to end at this week's Monday Night Raw. One that you know WWE ended up rewritten this show at the last minute, especially after the news broke of Drew McIntyre not being able to be at the show. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of anything that we ended up discussing today. And if you enjoy the coverage or found it informative, hit it now, but drop and turn on those notifications. I'll catch you on the next one. So stay savage.